Have you ever had a fork or a spoon on the way to your mouth and you knew that what you were about ready to taste was going to be just something incredible, but once you got it there, something just wasn't right? Like maybe some baked beans that look and smell amazing, but then you find out they left out the bacon. I mean, I'm all for someone trying to make healthy food and baked beans without bacon is just like banana pudding without bananas or a milkshake without milk or jello mold without fruit in it. No, no wait a minute. Leave the fruit out of the jello. That's all right. Jello and pizza are both better without pineapple. Yeah, I said it. But back to the point when something is missing, you get it. It's like when you mess up a pair of headphones and you lose a channel, the sound is still there. You can tell something is missing. Or like when one of the kids around the house unplugs the subwoofer to plug in a game system you can tell it isn't right and it takes you just a bit to process what's going on not that that's ever happened in my house or anything of course you know over the course of much of 2020 i think it's safe to say that many of us have noticed something is amiss maybe we haven't been able to put our finger squarely on the cause but at the source of a lot of our human interaction there is something missing that gets at the core of a lot of what we've seen going on this year you could say we're missing mutual respect, but there's a little more to the story than that. You could say that we're missing empathy, but again, I think there's still a thing under the thing. You could just attribute a lot of what we are seeing to our polarized culture, but I would argue that what we are seeing is a symptom, not a cause. In the case of our baked beans that we talked about, the lack of bacon flavor is a symptom of the bacon not being added when the other ingredients were. So what ingredients are missing in our culture today? I would have to say and make the argument for that the ingredient most missing from our culture today is simply love. It can almost seem like a cliche since we throw around the word love in so many different ways these days, but hear these words from 1 Corinthians that speak as to what love is and what it looks like when this critical ingredient is missing. If I speak in the tongues of men or of angels but do not have love, I am only a resounding gong or a clanging cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries of all knowledge, and if I have a faith that can move mountains but do not have love, I have nothing. If I give all I possess to the poor and I give over my body to hardship that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it does not dishonor others, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs, love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Our collective interactions with one another over the past few years has been lacking that key ingredient of love. If you pick almost any situation or device of topic that has been argued about by keyboard warriors everywhere over the course of 2020, if we added love for one another in the mix, we would find that those conversations are forced to transpire in a totally different way. If we can find a way to speak with love and listen with love, we might just find that what we have in common can help us to see where we can find common ground. Here's our challenge for 2021. In what ways can we think of to add a little more love to everything we do every day? That's your faith element for today, and I hope you'll spend a little time wrestling with that. Thanks for watching.